This is Joey from Arizona Lawn Tills. Introducing the Arizona Spam Can. Inspiration for this build I thought of is, well, it's a 10 foot aluminum can. Looks like a Spam Can. So I marked up the colors accordingly. And it just so happens that Spam colors are very similar to the Arizona flag colors. And like, well, it became the Arizona Spam Can. getting there. I'll be touching up a few more times and keep glossing and sealing it up. But this is what we're looking at. This build will be our second portable truck bed build. So hopefully me and David can do some road trips and get two 10 foot 10 cans out there on the water. On this build as well, I did preserve the original 50 year old logo on the side and did not paint over it. What we're looking at, probably be touching it up, looking for overspray, anything out of the normal. I think we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna clear coat it over the next couple of days. And I even kept the original logo. I'm gonna try to preserve it. Now we have Arizona Spam Kid. What you think, David? Ten foot mafia gang gang. Ten foot mafia. So you got the eleven horsepower with the shortest shaft in Yuma for sure. The custom kit shaft is sixty nine inches versus eighty five on the tie kit. It was very interesting, dude. I'm hoping this is my favorite rig. It looks pretty. So we used the same type of dolly system that we used on radio flyer and it's, it's very convenient to be able to just pull the, the boat into the bed of your truck. Uh, it's good for long distances and, and getting to off-road launches. Alright, so we're at Betty's right now. It's a little windy, cold, nasty, but we're going to send it. I'm going to throw my waders on. Uh, we're using this new... Uh, mud skipper uh, modified uh, GX20, the so actual Honda, to modify to 11 horsepower on their 7 horsepower custom kit. This thing is built super solid. I can't wait to get into the water. It's a little bit different than a tied long tail kit. It has, it has trim screws, um, the shaft is all galvanized, uh, it looks a little bit different. Uh, that's the tie propeller adapter so that way I can use the same propellers as all the rest of my item. Uh, that's what I think it is. I think that's Gary Key. If it is, I'm gonna go find him. Come for you Gary Key. Alright. Looks like she floats with the dolly kind of like the other the other 10 footer radio flyer we have. Just like the little golden spam can out here. Got the waders on. So, gonna get after it. Alright, doesn't look like we got any apparent leaks of any kind. Float test is doing good. The only wire that's in here is from me getting in the boat with my waders. Other than that, looks like we're pretty solid. Battle in the wind.
First impressions on this motor is impressive. She is a truck bed ripper. Um, it's night and day over the Tilton 212. It's not even close to the same motor. This one is way better. The way that it's better is that it builds up a significant amount of torque on the low end, uh, which is nice where you need it. The Mudskipper 7 horsepower custom kit is $500, as well as the motor, the modified GX200 Honda motor, is also $500. At a total of $1,000, you have an 11 horsepower power plant that is 70 pounds. Although a more expensive long tail option, it's still cheaper than your standard outboard package, by far. So, I'm liking it back here in Betty's kitchen. This is the furthest I've ever been back here. So, I hope I don't get lost. But, uh, it rips around good. Uh, I don't think, I haven't speed checked it yet, but I don't think it goes as fast as the regular tie long tails and top speed. Uh, but this motor's got good bite, good acceleration, it feels nice. See what more trouble we can get into out here. I will be putting a slick coating on this boat, however I want to do some speed tests without the slick coating to see how effective it actually is. This motor has way different characteristics um, than the previously modified engine that we used, the Tilton 212, which was 10 horsepower. Uh, this motor has a lot of low end grunt. Um, enough to get you in trouble if you're not careful. Once I get a tachometer on the engine, I'm going to start testing different prop sizes. It pushes a 7 like it's nothing. I was trying to film and drive at the same time, and at this point I knew I'd done messed up. Well, I done messed up. And my waders are full of water. That was cold. And, uh, <laughs> well, the boat's over here. <laughs> you got some bite. Kill switch for the save though. Alright, so throwing motors over there. I'm over here. This is what it looks like when you follow the water in your waders. So the water I fell in was deeper than what I could stand in, and my water and my waders completely filled up with water. I had a, it wasn't too hard to swim in my waders, but it was hard to get out of the water once I got out. Oh, I'm already soaking wet. Might as well enjoy it now. Alright. Okay. I'm 
to dump my waders. Um, I'm part of the, the David Boat Club. Ejecto Fido. Back of my chin on something. Must be hurt. And well, fire is back up. She's back to business. After this incident, I'll be needing to make a new grab bar and a new way to mount my trolling motor, probably on the bow, something removable. This motor on this size boat just turns a 7 prop with ease into the 5,000 RPM range. I imagine if I put on a size 8 or maybe even a 9, um, maybe I can get this boat up into the, the 20 mile an hour range. Uh, it definitely seems like it's under propped and at 10 feet with a seven, size 7 inch prop on it. It definitely looks, feels like it can handle a larger prop. The uh, Mud Skipper custom kit is a little bit different than, than the tight kits. It feels very, very solid. It does have a much shorter shaft than the 7 horsepower tight kits, but with this motor on it, it's just moving. It feels well balanced. Definitely with the adjustable tiller handle and then it also has a trim screw so you can uh, drop the motor back and it won't fall fall back too far. But it just floats around with ease. Definitely um, a kit that you would want to consider is the, the 7 horsepower custom kit. Like I said, it's a little bit different than the, the tight kits, um, but I think it's different in a good way.
the back of it is I stumbled on this couple that got stranded after they went camping overnight here in a, in a Honda Civic. Sometimes which you're about to camping, see right now. <laughs> yeah, the waiters are nice, man. Alright, looks like we're going on a rescue mission. Probably not the best idea to go camping in the back of Betty's in a Honda Civic, but well, you gotta enjoy the outdoors sometimes. This kit is perfect for 10 foot John boats, uh, probably layout boats for duck hunting, and probably like um, the Sun Dolphin or Bass Raider type Tupperware boats. Easter egg for David. Alright, we just need to find these people that got stuck in their Honda Civic camping back here. If I can find them and get them out. Not gonna lie, wasn't sure if I was gonna make it back here myself. Alright, so we got them out, but now we gotta go drag them through the wilderness. Luckily, we were able to get them out safe and easy. So it looks like we can still do off road recoveries even with the boat in the bed of the truck. Right, what well, we can say at minimum, that was an adventure. Joe Bro Taco, Mud Bro Taco. Apologies for the terrible uh, audio. This thing rips. Uh, it moves pretty good. Uh, it only goes about 50 miles an hour. I believe it's because of the short tail. But it gets to 15 miles an hour really fast. And uh, it's got enough power to chuck you out of the boat. I found that out the hard way. I think with a bigger prop, we'll go much faster. For sure, a uh, grab bar is going to be in the mix. So I'll chuck myself out of the boat. Uh, I'm going to have to find a new way to mount the trolling motor. Because whenever I crashed the boat, it grabbed and it, and it popped off even though it was wheeled in. Uh, I have zero complaints about this motor. It uh, definitely has different characteristics uh, than the Phillips 212. And it definitely builds its torque on the, on the lower end, uh, which is nice. Because I was able to rip through all those, those sections. Um, I'm still all wet, getting hypothermia out here. It's still raining. So, all in all, it's good success. Um, just got to figure out how to do the mount the trolling motor a little bit better. 
and mount a, a grab bar. But otherwise, I'm loving the, the Arizona Can Can. It's, it's doing pretty good. Got no complaints on it. You should. Please like, subscribe, follow us. Get some more Mud Mother action. On the next Arizona lawn tail, we took the Arizona spam can on the salt and Kiva rivers in South Phoenix and the Rocky Basin to see how the Mud Skipper 7 horsepower custom kit handles it.